There's a phrase, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words may never hurt me. But in some places that's really wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of rude, demeaning words that actually do break your wall of self-esteem and your confidence and everything that really makes you you and outgoing. So we became involved in the Diana Award because some of our pupils came to us and said they wanted to have some guidance on how to deal with some of the issues that were on social media and we were increasingly becoming aware of inappropriate photographs or perhaps some unpleasant comments online and one of the things that we felt very much was that it would be a much stronger message if it came from the pupils rather than from us. We took the training last July and the activities that we did made us bond with other schools and built up our confidence and through the training all of us thought of so many different ideas and put together plans of how we would implicate this into our own school and then into the communities. Speed friending is one of the first things we did after the training. It's all about getting to know each other. Well, it was initially aimed at people who don't really know each other and we did a larger circle of year sevens and a smaller circle of year sevens, both facing each other and rotating every 30 seconds, asking simple questions such as, what is your name? Do you like pizza? A lot of girls feel really self-conscious at this age and they'll come to you and they'll say, I don't look like how I want to and I don't feel this. That's why I think that girls sometimes need a friend because they doubt themselves. A message that I really want to get across is don't be that person that just watches the bullying happen. Don't be the bystander, be the upstander. Hello Prep School, we're the anti-bullying ambassadors from Kings High and today we're here to talk to you about the problems of being a bystander and why you should all be upstanders. You looked really weird though. Everyone thought so. Did you mind that your costume made you look pretty ugly? The ambassadors taught us to be upstanders, not bystanders. The main thing I learned today was that treat someone how you would like to be treated. Yeah! I think one of the things that's come out of this is the fact that girls have been going into tutor groups, they've been going into form groups, they've been leading assemblies, and acting as real student leaders in the community, which is hugely powerful. One of the things we have to cover is internet safety, and they have come in and delivered that message but in a much more um, relatable way and it's been great to see the difference that we have actually made and to see more people being confident and coming forward to report any problems. So the Confide button is one of the five ways to contact the ambassadors. I think it's great. It's on every single desktop around school. As ambassadors ourselves we try to set a good example online whether that's commenting nice things on people's posts or just encouraging good behaviour online, like saying nice things. A lot of the time we repost things from the Diana Awards account just saying, look at this, and raising that sort of awareness. We're about to present to parents the uses of social media. Being helpful in the community and especially with parents, because I think it's interesting how much they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> about social media. We need to teach parents how to use Snapchat, how to use Instagram if they don't have them. If they don't want to get an account, don't get an account, but actually how to use them so that if a problem arises where something needs to be reported and the child possibly doesn't report it, maybe doesn't want to report it or doesn't know how to report it, the parent is there to help them and there is somebody else there in that situation. I'm an older mummy anyway. Growing up, we didn't have the challenges of mobile phones or social media or anything like that. What I think is good is where this campaign has taught young people about measures they can take to safeguard themselves, which I think is really important. They have worked so hard over the past year and I think they've really made a positive difference to the environment in the school. People always say that schools are the best days of your life, like your school days. I'm proud to like, be helping people like realise that and to just enjoy themselves because, you know, it's not going to last forever, but while it does, to know that you've made a contribution to your community and to also people around you, I think, I think that's something to be proud of.